live from the command center of the JW Solar USA. Guys, this is what I have for you guys today. I got a box. This is a car, truck, voltage converter, regulator, DC, 24 volts to 12 volts, 50 amps, 600 volts. So, this is what it is. So, a uh, step down converter, DC to DC converter. Check this out. Okay, so how this one really works, see the terminals are huge. The input comes in here, the 24 volt. They share the ground at the, oh sorry. They share the ground at the same time. The input comes in here. So feeding 24 volts here. Then you have the ground here, negative, positive, feed in. And the output, you got to use the same ground here. And you got to output here to 12 volts, which gives you the 50 amps at 600 watt. So I'm trying to use this uh, DC to DC converter in case um, I'm going to be running uh, DC lights and um, or any DC appliances. I want to do the conversion. But it's using lithium with a higher voltage and it's not going to hurt at all. And look at the die cast uh, aluminum which is uh, very robust and uh, it has, um, there you go, 600 watt DC to DC converter, F Fluri, F-L-F-U-L, Fluri, something like that. So the output is 12 volt DC, 50 amp max. So, Look at this thing is kind of heavy. I think it, uh, approximately uh, two pounds or five pounds. It's kind of heavy. I can I can feel it. So look at the uh, aluminum and the uh, the heat sink is 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 really big. So we have to put this one on test pretty soon. Uh, you guys can see how this DC to DC converter works. That's the model number twenty four twelve. So that tells you a twenty four volt to step down 12 at 50 so that's why they do like the, the like the serial number you see it's 24 volts that's the 24 volt input output is 12 volts at 50 amps so some of these numbers you normally see that's how it's read so it's manufactured at uh um the 12 month the 11th 2019 so it's new brand new why don't you take a look again? Then I'm gonna try and uh, get you some of the other specs because uh, it's a uh, it's uh, protected with the uh, over overload protection, over current, over temperature, short circuit, over temperature, short circuit, over voltage, auto re recover, auto recovery when the device is back to normal operation. <clears throat> So a high, uh, is, it has a higher uh, 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 transfer efficiency, which is um, uh, 95%. So this really, um, really got me because the efficiency of the transfer, I know DC to DC converter is very, 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 very uh, um, um, uh, efficient. Let's see. It's a die cast um, aluminum shell, anti-shock, anti-moisture proof and has a storage a strong durability on it a wide use on bus it's a large for it is made for a large for larger trucks and a huge connections for 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 these things and uh for uh it's really used for uh large trucks and motors and uh solar generators electricity display screens so talking about display screens uh, and you're talking about uh buses and taxis and car audio devices so it's a, a hundred percent full power and it's stable it's a non-isolated waterproof IP67 or IP68. So you can leave this thing outside. That's why it doesn't have anything here. And uh, you can see from the back here. So if you mount this thing like this, uh, vertical, 
in the sense horizontal sorry horizontal like this so water will just drain past the only thing i'm worried about say I, 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 ip68 so maybe water if you put it this way if it's outside maybe water will penetrate on this uh uh indicator bulb right here and here is seal properly seal you can see it bites right away and i think it has probably a seal on that thing and i think if you install it this way on the floor that way i think it's gonna be okay but it seems like oh yeah they put a glue i can see that and if you see the glue like a hot glue so they glue this thing really well so guys uh this is an industrial grade 24 volt to 12 volt step down converter efficient Efficiency up to about 95% efficiency on this thing. It's a die cast aluminum shell. Epoxy, okay. See, it has an epoxy. They put an epoxy to seal this thing. Epoxy pot, potting. And um, it cool by, you know, free air, you know, just to, you know, the, over just the natural air. It has all this good uh, stuff. It's a, it's a certified the CE and uh, slash R O H S one year warranty, lifetime up to about thousand one hundred thousand hours. So let me give you the specification on this one. The input uh, rated voltage is twenty four volt input voltage range at eighteen to thirty six. So the input range is 18 to 36 volt DC and the output is 12 volt 50 amps. The output rated power is 600 watts. Efficiency is 97% after the load. So 97% after the load. Okay, 97% after load, 95% full load. So you're losing only, uh, only two percent. You're losing only two percent if if you go at a uh, 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 full load. It's only two percent you're losing from this thing. And um, the output peak is a 750 watt. Voltage regulation is less than one percent. The load regulation is less than two percent. The ripple full load test less than 100 millivolts it's a uh, uh, no load current 50 millivolts so don't think probably because of this thing it is sitting without no load it's going to be taking draining your battery so it says a 50 millivolt to 60 uh okay 50 milliamp to 60 milli 50 milliamp to 60 milliamp okay and the total um, weight is 1,650 1, grams. The length is 180 by the width is 127 and the height is 63 millimeters. Those are all millimeters I was calling. So... So this is the only thing that came with it. So I can feed up to about uh, 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 18 to 36 volts on this puppy, which the nominal voltage is a 24 volts. Okay. And uh, so I can able to use a 36 volt battery and convert this thing and use a, get a 12 volts and you can hook this one to a 12 volt uh, uh, um, uh, um, inverter. A 12 volts another 12 volt inverter can do it so you can pull from this thing from that high voltage battery and drop it down and pull at 600 volt 600 watts it's pretty awesome right so i just want to show you guys and this is what i have here and i'm going to be using this it comes with a different project i'm going to be utilizing these machines i'm showing you you all have a reason why i'm getting all this stuff because we're going to be doing some massive install a massive thing so if you're looking for this is a full re
F U L R E E twenty four twelve fifty L twenty four twelve fifty Lima. So that's the thing right there. Fifty amps max. You can search all the way to uh, seven hundred and uh, twenty. 750 sorry so i'm putting it away we have to test this but well, we got to finish the 12 volt system first and um i have other thing to show you here is all the gadgets i have for you guys guess what what is this look at that huge huge look at this really built so you can just pull this cover look at these bus bars check this out look at that this is a a a, a five eight five eight so you can put a positive here and the negative here built in one plate so you can see the thickness of the metal right here in the corner take a look look how thick it is so this one can take up to about 250 amps this one can accommodate 250 amps, so that cover you can see is like a, say like a bushing, like where it, it goes through here. You don't have to use any nuts to screw it all the way. And um, I, you have another little ones here. You can able to hook up some little tiny thing for the 12 volt system if you want to. So this one is going for the 12 volt system. It's it's really heavy. It's beefy. It's heavy. Okay, I want you to see that it's really heavy. And uh, if I put these things all together, this will make that 12 volt thing really heavy. Really, really heavy. The 12 volt system is going to, the box going to be really heavy now because of all these other gadgets that's uh, sitting here. So, I don't know if you can capture this. I'm telling you, it's very difficult to handle. It's heavy. So, so this is going to be the mugshot that is going to be on the, uh, on the uh, thumbnail. Yeah, guys, this is really heavy. My hand, hands are all getting tired just these two guys so let's don't talking about this let me show you all the thing again here which is uh pretty interesting that's gonna be going for the same install all right let's take a look and see if we can get this thing steady I want a better picture for these guys so you guys can see a better picture. Yeah, so this is how it's going to look like. And um, trust me, I got something here again for you guys. I want to show you. Um, I, I'm getting busy with all these uh, little gadgets going around it's it's not even funny the way um everything is uh happening here at the jw solar usa so everything looks great and um there goes these are the little lights balls they normally have on semis you know when you drive with these uh oversized vehicles these are really uh, 60, uh, 60K, no, 6,000K. 
You know, the 5,000, 6,000 is hyper bright. They are bright. So look at the wires that are really small. These are not even 16. I think it's a 22 gauge wire. And these are all going to be going for the uh, 12 volt system. And I have the uh, amber color, and which we're going to be uh, utilize. And you guys can see. Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah. I can't able to do that. I, I, I should have done it cross wire right there and gets the uh, from the battery everything's gonna lit up and see how bright it is so i just want to show you guys this is what i have and uh hope you you like what you see and uh stay tuned for the videos that is going to be coming on these uh guys right here and catch you on the next video like and subscribe jw solo usa thanks for watching Love you guys all, and bye for now. Yeah, I'm going to give you a good shot. You can see it. There you go. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this one old project. I'm so excited. Thanks for watching.